Somebody says, how's it going, man? Just laid off as a scrum master. Any advice for getting certified in cybersecurity to make more? I've got some, I've got some advice. Here's what I would do if I was laid off as a scrum master is I would apply for a program management job. That's what I would do personally. And the reason why I would do that is let me show you, let me show you the reason. Let me show you the reason. Project managers make pretty good money. That's why. Check this out. Let me show my screen here. If you go to Google, type in project program manager or project manager, either one, you'll see something like this. And this, I apologize in advance for this being backwards, the screen being backwards, but I don't know how to fix it. That says 80. That's the average near my area. And I'm actually in a very rural place. And that's 87,000. That doesn't sound good. But look at these other jobs here. These, this one's for 200,000. 150,000. That's not bad money. This is a program manager. If I was a scrum master, I would get a PMP. If you don't already have one, if you already have one, then you need to tighten up your resume because you should be making money like this. This says, if you happen to be listening to me, I just highlighted something that says program manager salary, 123 to $164,000 is the average amount that they make. Now, it depends on where you live. I live in a very rural area, so if I got a rural job, but you can get a remote job from DMV area or in Dallas, Texas, where they're paying 141000 for this job. So I, if I were you, I would not waste a single second. What I would do is I would promote the hell out of my resume. I would lean into program management as hard as possible to get that six-figure salary that I'd, I'd aim for about 130. Tighten up your resume, put your resume on, on LinkedIn, on a monster.com, on indeed.com, on careerbuilder.com, on uh, go to 10 different top places. And then on the top of your resume, I'd say remote work. If you still want to get in cybersecurity, get that $130,000 PMP job and then study for security plus that's what i would do you you get the security plus under your belt basically that's going to teach you security plus is not a high level certification but it's really good at the fundamentals of security it's re, it's one of the best certifications for if you want to know the fundamentals of cyber security and if you get the certification it's highly sought after by the government the the top security certifications for the government are our CASP, CISP, CASP, Security Plus. I probably put CEH on there. A lot of people hate CEH, but CEH is, is, is paying the hell out of people. So those are probably the most popular top three certifications that if you put it on your resume, it demands a certain level of respect, at least from HR department who hires people. That, that would be my advice for you. Lean into program management. If you, if tighten up your resume, Put all your Scrum Master experience on there. Tighten it up. Put it on all, market the hell out of yourself. Put it on every platform and start applying for jobs. Get yourself a remote position. Work from home. That way you can study for the Security Plus and then do that on the side. But to be honest with you, if you know how to market yourself well enough as a program manager, you won't need to do cybersecurity, man. So program management in a lot of ways is better than cybersecurity. Just my opinion.